Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we are in the 48th episode of the series and we have Rohan here with us who has been recently placed at Taza Pay as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all the students with a CGP of 6 or 60% in their 10th and 12th and an undergraduate CGP of 8 or 80% were eligible. Now let's go ahead and talk to Rohan and understand his experience. Hi Rohan, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hey, thank you so much. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So hi everyone, I am uh, Rohan, currently doing my B.Tech in Economic Science and Engineering from the IIT Uh Right now I'm in uh, my final year and uh, was sitting in placement through uh, on campus, through VIT campus only. And I got my internship and full-time offer in a fintech company that is a Singapore-based startup called Tazape recently. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what happened? Uh, for Tazape, it was the first round was consisting of uh, aptitude and uh, DSA coding round. Okay. And it was uh, online, it was not offline, but the first round was online. Hmm. So there were like around uh, 40 to 50 attitude questions and uh, two or three uh, DSA coding round questions. Okay. And uh, after uh, sh after getting shortlisting from it, shortlisting from it, uh, second round was offline. It was held in the VIT Chennai campus. Okay. So like uh, we all students went there and gave the interview there. So mm. that was a technical round. Uh, in technical round, uh, they were uh, asking for around one and a half and or around two hours they took the interview for okay. most candidates it was for uh, two hours for me it was like one hour 45 minutes something mm -hmm. uh in tech round they asked about uh, like mainly based on my resume they asked about my projects uh, two dsa questions and uh, my, they asked also for my certification course that uh, okay. i did what i did mm. and uh, other achievements that stuff mm. the one thing that i I, I thought that was different in this interview and other uh, from the interview that was uh, they were asking for my uh, asking me to write the code for the projects that I did. Usually oh, okay. companies don't ask to hmm. write code about the projects hmm. that you have mentioned in your resume. Right. So basically it was a startup so that they were expecting me to remember all the code or hmm. the functionalities of the project that I did. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that was it. And uh, other, after getting shortlisted from it, the other round was uh, HR round, which was uh, also online. Okay. It was uh, more of a formality, okay. uh, not that much of part. Okay. Uh, so in the tech round, it was like uh, uh, your resume and then your projects and there were two yeah. DSA questions you said, right? Yeah. So what would you say the level of those DSA questions was? Uh, both were both the questions I would say was uh, medium. Uh, okay. One was from linguist and the other was the array question. Both okay. were I would say medium. Easiest to easiest to uh, medium I would say. Okay, okay. So it, the duration was one hour forty five minutes of a you right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So and did they ask anything about computer science like subjects like oops or? Yeah, was, yeah sorry, I, I told you because they asked me about uh, many uh, many oops oops questions as well as uh, database mm. questions as well. Okay, okay. And for other uh, candidates like my classmates or my peers, they mm. were asking also about uh, uh, operating system and all. Mm. If if they have if they have mentioned like cloud or any other mm. uh, uh, subparts, then they were also asking that like uh, security questions. Okay. 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 And that was yeah. all. After that, you had the HR round. That's it, right? Yeah, HR round was uh, I would say a formality. It was mm. only for thirty minutes something. Okay. Okay. And in your online assessment, uh, like what kind of questions were there? Uh, in online assessment, aptitude was uh, kind of easy, I would say, and uh, DSA was pretty hard because like around uh, 600 students applied for this company and only around 60-ish maybe got okay. shortlisted for the tech round, so okay. it was kind of hard. Okay, okay. I don't remember the DSA questions because it was like uh, three, three months back, that's why. Right, right, okay. Okay, that's great uh, and congrats once again and thank you for sharing your experience. And thank you. Yeah, yeah. so was, would you think there was a CGPA cutoff or how did they do the first shortlisting for the first round? Do you have any idea on that? Uh, mostly uh, it is up to the placement cell to 
for like to get to do shortlisted on the first round mm-hmm. only like i applied in many companies but my cg was around 8.5 so i was like not getting shortlisted right, in right. many of the companies okay okay so like uh, for the you, first of all you have to get shortlisted to get the first round mm-hmm. if you are not short, getting shortlisted for it then it doesn't mm-hmm. matter right, right right so that was the case okay okay thank you so much for sharing your experience and do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience yeah definitely if, uh, this was my first offline interview i i had given many interviews but that was mm. majorly online mm. so if you are giving an interview in offline mode it's best thing that you can have i mean you may think that uh, offline is not good or mm. there are many disadvantages in offline but that's not true at all mm. if you have get if you have a chance to give in the offline interview that's the best thing that you can have in interview okay the second thing i would say read the job description properly in my case uh, they were using golang for the back end okay so i was aware of it, that they were using golang for the mm. back end and the role was also for back end only mm. so what i did i had uh, i had around one week of time to get prepared for my tech interview so mm. i learned golang i completed the tutorial and also completed a basic i would say basic intermediate kind of uh, level project in golang mm. uh, i created a back end for the banking app in golang okay so like that gave me an upper edge compared to other the rock my peers right right and in the interview also they were like kind of impressed by the thing that i completed the code and hmm. uh, course as well as project in one week of right, time right right that shows that you are adaptable to changes and you hmm. can have you can have a change at any, any time you want right right and uh, apart from that uh, be confident whatever you have mentioned in your resume mm. uh, i mean if you are doing any freelance work or any other work apart from your like academic mm. you can mention it you mm. can mention it in your interview as well right. so i was doing a freelancing that, that's also i mentioned in the interview process that all the all these things to give you an upper edge mm. compared to your peers or other your compared right. compared to uh, competition right 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 Okay that's great thank you so much for your experience and for sharing yeah. your suggestions and yeah thank you my pleasure okay thank you all for watching i really hope that you found this video helpful if you did please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more interview experiences